Hey guys, what is going on? It is me here, Zestful here, and today, guys, I've got a really, really awesome video for you guys. So, Sledgehammer Games and Activision have just announced, as of yesterday, the second DLC map pack for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare titled Ascendance. Now, we already knew the name of the map packs because they revealed all the names before the game uh, released, I believe. But they've given us lots of details, including all the map names, all the different stuff we're going to be getting with it, and also a release date. The one thing we don't have, however, is a trailer yet. There will be a trailer that will be airing at the final of the Call of Duty Championships which are happening at the end of this month. So during the final match of the Call of Duty Championships, which is obviously a huge competitive thing, um, they will be airing the trailer during that time. So I'll be sure to bring you guys more info when we get a trailer revealing more stuff. We have many details for you guys today, so I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it because there's quite a lot of stuff to cover. We've got uh, lots of stuff being added in with this playlist, including the four maps, the extra zombies, and also some other stuff you didn't know about. So the things that are going to be included in this are the four multiplayer maps, Perplex, Site 44, Climate, and Chop Shop. And the in addition to this, it's also going to introduce a new EXO ability called EXO Grappling, which will allow players to navigate the environment differently. This ability will be exclusive to the Ascendance DLC playlist. So basically, if you remember the campaign, guys, you actually had the ability to use a sort of grapple hook to uh, kind of, uh, you know, pull yourself up things and stuff. So that's actually going to be an EXO ability that's going to be in the game. It's only going to be in the specific playlist for the Ascendance DLC because obviously, if you used it in the normal maps, um, and also the Havoc maps, there might be people that don't have that map pack, and so they won't be able to use it, and so obviously it's just going to be kind of unfair to them. So, it's only going to be available in the Ascendance DLC as of now, but it could be one of those things where they end up releasing it as like a free public thing later on, so then they might end up bringing it into normal players. We'll have to see exactly how that works out. I'm not sure. I'm not even really a huge fan of Exo Abilities anyway. I usually don't really use them at all. Even if I have them equipped, I rarely use them, because honestly, I just don't find them that useful. But... Other than that, we also have a new Exo Zombies map as well, which is obviously really awesome. So, the Exo Grappling playlist, the unique grappling ability found in the campaign mode, is now available for use in all of Ascendance multiplayer maps through the Exo Grapple playlist. Activate your Exo Grapple ability for a faster way to reach strategic vantage points or as a brutal secondary weapon to take down the competition. This is even more interesting because you're actually going to be able to use it to take down enemies, which I believe in one of the campaign missions you could do as well. You can kind of like pull them towards you and do a melee attack. Apparently, you're going to be able to do that as well. I don't know if that's going to be like OP or anything. We'll have to see exactly how that works out with the trailer. But uh, yeah, that will be coming soon. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the details now of all the four multiplayer maps. First of all, we've got Perplex. As you guys can see from the picture here, there's a lot of speculation going around that apparently this might be a remake of the map Raid from Black Ops 2. I've got to admit, it does look fairly similar, but in the same way, it also kind of doesn't. They haven't confirmed uh, as of now whether it will be a remake or not. That's the kind of thing they'll announce during the uh, trailer. So it could end up actually being a remake of Raid. Raid was actually one of my favorite maps in Black Ops 2. I really, really enjoyed that map. So it'd be really awesome to see them bring that back from Black Ops 2. We'll have to see exactly how that works. But basically, venture to the, to the streets of Sydney and battle through a five-story modular apartment complex with elevated advantages and tight corners. Corridors, sorry. Perplex is small to medium-sized map that fits a variety of playstyles. Construction drones will shake things up. However, as they shift apartment modules to create and sorry, as they shift apartment modules and create new strategic pathways. So it looks like all these maps are actually being built to use the new um, Exo Grapple as well. That's what it looks like to me. They've uh, kind of designed all these maps so that they'll take full advantage of the Exo Grapple. Next map here is called Site 244. An alien craft has crash landed beneath Mount Rushmore in the USA, making for an awesome medium to large size free lane map listed with an extraterrestrial uh, debris. Uh, gain a competitive edge by earning the map based score street to open an alien spore that enhances your perks and exo abilities. That sounds really, really cool indeed. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, but we'll have to see how that works. Uh, next map Climate. Settle into your dome away from the home climate. A lush plump controlled biodome with a circular layout to a central island structure for teams to fight for control of. Climate keeps the pace of the action high. The tires can turn, however, when the river begins to rage and becomes a treacherous obstacle. So, yet again, they're bringing back map streaks in all these maps that all have their own unique map streaks, which is pretty cool. And then the final map 
This one really, really interests me. So look at the picture for this one, guys. This map is called Chop Shop. It says, discover the CD underbelly of the unauthorized exoskeleton trade in Chop Shop, a medium-sized industrial complex with a devastating map-based score streak, the advanced repulsion turret. First of all, this repulsion turret sounds absolutely insane. Can't wait to see what that's like. But also, if you just look at the map, guys, this is almost exactly the same of the first Exo Zombies map from the Havoc DLC, which is very, very interesting indeed a lot of people were just saying you know it might be a kind of similar map or something i'm thinking they might actually kind of use that as a multiplayer map obviously it won't be as big as the full extra zombies map because it was a bit big but it does say it will be a medium sized map so maybe they'll cut off certain parts of it uh but i imagine there's also going to be a sort of outdoor bit for this advanced propulsion type but i believe it's possible this could be the actual exo zombies map put into multiplayer i think that'd be absolutely insane if they actually managed to do that that would be really really cool because i actually really like the exo zombies Map. It's quite cool. Uh, and then also, we the new Exo Zombies map. Ascenders DLC also brings a new map for Exo Zombies mode, which is going to be called Infection. The four Atlas po employees, portrayed by the returning celebrity cast of John Malkovich, Bill Paxton, Rose McGowan, and John Burfell, will return and they fight tooth and nail through undead zombie whores located on the outskirts of an Atlas facility. The new Exo Zombies episode introduces a uh, sorry introduces a slew of never before seen undead masses, a robust arsenal of new maps and armaments and everyone's favorite fast food joint Burger Town. So as you guys can see from the picture right there, it's actually going to be based a sort of Burger Town. Burger Town was obviously a big thing in the Modern Warfare series. It was sort of a fast food chain you'd see in some of the multiplayer maps, which is really, really cool. Uh, so as I was saying, the trailer for the Ascendants DLC will be shown during the 2015 Call of Duty Championship, which is actually going to be presented on by Xbox on March 29th. There will be two trailers coming out, including gameplay for the new DLC, as well as a new Exo Zombies video. For those of you that don't also know, the new OHM weapon will also be coming as part of this map pack, but if you have Xbox Season Pass, you can currently get the OHM yourself, and it will be coming out relatively soon on PlayStation and PC platforms. But that is also going to be the weapon coming with this map pack, now one final thing I want to talk to you guys about, there's this really really cool image which you guys will be seeing on screen here of a awesome new type of exo zombie, just look at this. This guy looks absolutely huge. Now, I'm thinking I might even actually make a separate video about this, just because this video is going on a bit too long now, so I might end up making a different video about this, just because this guy looks so absolutely awesome. But there you go, guys. I just wanted to inform you guys and just let you know exactly what's going on with the Ascendants DLC. So, uh, it will be releasing. Did I even give you guys the release date? Uh, yeah, sorry. It's going to be available on March 31st on Xbox Live for both Xbox One and also Xbox 360, and will be launching, of course, around a month later for PlayStation and also PC. I forgot to give you guys a release date. Sorry about that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. Uh, I might make another video on this covering that extra zombie stuff. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, please sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you guys on my next video.